In this lesson, I will be talking about SEO and it stands for search engine optimization. So basically we will be optimizing our blog posts so we would have better chances to appear in higher position of Google search results. But before we do that, we should go and do some changes to our SEO plugin, which we installed previously. So let's go right here and click on general tab. From here, we will go to features and let's start by disabling readability analysis because we don't really need this plugin to keep us bugging with our readability score and most cases Cases, it doesn't do any help at all so the next thing would be let's disable text link counter because um, otherwise this plugin will keep us bugging that we should include internal links to our content and when you are starting your blog you will not have any internal links whatsoever to include so we can disable this option and let's go and disable admin bar menu because we don't really need this bar menu to be right here in this position because we will not be using this plugin so often so there's no need to have it so once you have done doing this just click save changes and from here we can go to search appearance because we will not be doing any changes right here so let's go to search appearance and right here you can add your blog name and you can upload your logo once you have done this just click save changes and let's go to content types from here we will be doing some changes in the post section so we can delete this section page just delete it and uh, right now just go to pages section expanded and we should add a meta description so you want to type uh, excerpt uh, so to do this just type as you see on the right side and it will be added automatically so once you have done doing this just click save changes and we can go to media section actually in media section we will not be doing any changes whatsoever so we can go to another section in category section in meta description we will add the same word so just type excerpt so basically this uh, function will add a short description of our category uh, it will use the text which is in the category let's go to the tag section and we can disable tags because we want to avoid duplicate content so just click no and we can go to format section and let's do the same with the formats because we want to avoid duplicate content uh, it's going to harm our seo so let's scroll down and we can remove categories prefix because we don't need this word category in our url it's not doing any help for us at all so once you have done this just click save changes and we can go to archive section so this is the last section to which we will be doing any changes so as you can see right here uh, let's disable this offer archives because we want to avoid duplicate content and it will not do any help for our search engine optimization and let's do the same right here let's disable it and uh, once you have done this just click save changes to other these two sections we will not be doing changes at all we can move on to social tab and social section just add your uh, social media profiles and once you have done this just hit save and to all these other sections we will not be doing any changes at all so once you have finished doing all these changes we can go ahead and start optimizing our blog post with keywords and as you can see i have added some posts some of these posts are demo content and here you will see the last blog post which i added when i was showing you how to add your first blog post so i'm just gonna click on edit so as you can see this is the blog post which i created previously and i want to optimize this blog post for keyword drop shipping so once someone decides to look something about drop shipping and that person gonna enter a keyword or let's say a key phrase drop shipping i want my blog post to appear in google search so that's the point of optimizing your content with keywords basically keywords are phrases which users use to look for information in google so you have used google in the past you know how it works it's not enough just to write the content you must know how to optimize it with keywords otherwise people will not be able to find your blog post so as you can see this blog post is optimized with the keyword drop shipping and as you can see this keyword is mentioned in the title it's mentioned in the various places of different paragraphs it's mentioned in headings as well it's mentioned in in listings uh, i have mentioned this keyword all over the text because uh, i want uh, google to know that this blog post is all about drop shipping as well i have done the same with images so once you're adding an image for example when you are adding images uh, for this example i'm just gonna go right here and i'm gonna click on this image so i would access me Media library so as you can see I have added two images in the blog post and I have selected 
101 featured image for this blog post. And as you can see, all of these images have their title and alternative text. So basically the title is just the title of that image and alternative text is being displayed the, when the image fails to load for, for the user. So in best case scenario, you would like to describe your image in alternative text, but I highly recommend you to use your keyword and alternative text and in the titles because you want your images rank as well in search results. So it's going to help to rank your blog posts and images. So as you can see in every single photo, I have mentioned dropshipping. Uh, I didn't use the same phrase. I didn't use the same titles in each image because it's not a good practice. You should uh, do some changes, just mix it up. You don't want to overuse that keyword and you don't want to make your text uh, uh, titles, alternative text sound like a nonsense. So as you can see, alternative text and the titles of my images are optimized with keyword. So let's go back to our blog post. So like I said, this image is optimized with the keyword dropshipping and this keyword is used all over the text. Once you have done this, we will do some changes to our SEO plugin section. So once you scroll down to the bottom, you will see your SEO plugin settings. So right here, you will see how your blog post is going to look in Google search results, in the mobile results and in the desktop results. So as you can see, it's going to look like this. So it has our title, our keyword is mentioned in our title and we should add a description and description should include our main keyword as well. So to add description, meta description to this a snippet, you would have to click right here, edit snippet and let's add meta description. Uh, so as you can see, I just finished adding meta description and as you can see, I have used my keyword drop shipping in this description as well. And uh, this green bar shows that you have added a good amount of text. You don't want to add too much text, uh, otherwise it's not going to be displayed right here. And you don't want to add just a little of text because you want to use as much space in Google search results as possible because it's your moment uh, to stand out from other search results, from other competitors. Editors. So try adding as much text as possible and don't forget to use your main keyword in the meta description as well. So once you have done these steps, we can actually check our content, our blog post to see how well it's optimized with a keyword drop shipping. And to do this, you would have to go right here and you'll have to enter your focus key phrase or in other words, your keyword. So in this case, my keyword is going to be drop shipping. And as you can see, we got a green badge. It means that our content is optimized well and we have good chances to appear in Google search results in a higher position. Of course, there are more factors involved in, in the rankings of Google search results. But when you are a beginner, the most important thing is to learn how to optimize your text with the keywords. As well, we will do some changes in social media section. Let's go right here and let's go to Facebook section. So basically in Facebook section, all you have to do is just add the same title and the same description as we added right here. As you can see, this is our title and this is our description. So just add the same description and title in these fields and just add the image which will be displayed once somebody shares your blog post on Facebook. So you can use the same image as we used for our featured image. And once you have finished doing this, we can go to Twitter section and just do the same, add the same title, add the same description and add the image. So once you have finished doing this, you can go and publish your blog post. So this is how you optimize your blog post with keywords. And and uh, right now I will show you what tools I use and what tools I recommend you to use to do a simple keyword research. So you will know how well these keywords are performing. You will know how many monthly searches they are getting and if it is very difficult to rank these keywords organically. So the first tool which I like to use for keyword research is a free Google Chrome extension, which is called Surfer. So you can look it up in the Google and this is, this is how it's called, Surfer. And you can add it to your Chrome browser. So once you have added this tool, uh, this tool will show you how many monthly searches a certain keyword is getting. So for example, our keyword dropshipping, as you can see in the United States, is getting over 90,000 monthly searches. So it's quite a lot and probably it means that this keyword is quite competitive and it might be quite difficult to rank this keyword. And on the right side, you can see some other keyword suggestions 
suggestions, uh, some similar keywords which go together with uh, with this main keyword, dropshipping. And when we are talking about keywords, it doesn't necessarily need to be a keyword uh, made out of one word. It can be made out of couple words like AliExpress dropshipping or let's say WooCommerce dropshipping or any different type of keyword. It doesn't need to be just a single word. It can be multiple words and it can be your keyword. So basically it's a key phrase which is being used in your text. So Google could recognize that your blog post is all about that um, keyword because the goal of Google is to show the most relevant content to their users. So that's why you want to optimize your blog post with keywords. So all right, this tool Surfer as well shows you how many words a certain uh, blog post, let's say your competitor uh, has written and how many times this keyword has been mentioned in that blog post. So these first results are ads. As you can see, it says ad. Let's scroll down. So as you can see, there's a blog post, the ultimate guide to drop shipping, which was published by Shopify. And as you can see here, it says that this blog post has over 1000 words and the keyword drop shipping was mentioned 24 times. By doing this type of research, you can understand how many words you have to write and probably how many times you can mention this keyword if you want to rank your blog post. So it's like a nice to know how many words you should write. So obviously the best case scenario is uh, that you want to write more words and uh, you don't want to go over the top and start using your main keyword drop shipping over and over again. You want to make your blog post to sound naturally and you don't want to make it look like a nonsense. All right. So as I said, this surfer tool lets you to check how many monthly searches a certain keyword is getting. As well, you will get some keyword suggestions. And as well, right here, it shows the estimated monthly traffic for that domain in the United States. So the next tool which I'm going to show you is called Uber Suggest. So right here it is. Uh, this is the Uber Suggest tool which I uh, usually use. It shows the similar information just like the surfer. As you can see, it shows the same search volume as the surfer did. So obviously this keyword is getting over 90,000 monthly searches and as well it shows what is SEO difficulty. So as you can see, SEO difficulty is 76. So 76 out of 100 that means it's pretty difficult to rank this keyword only optimizing your content with the keywords and once you scroll down you will see some keyword suggestions like keyword ideas so of course this tool is a paid but with a free version you can do a very simple keyword research so you would have a better understanding how well this keyword is performing so in keyword ideas we are getting some nice keyword suggestions as you can see dropshipping keyword is quite competitive and it's very difficult to rank but uh, dropshipping suppliers it's less competitive and it's easier to rank but the search volume is lower and just like that you can get some ideas the content ideas keyword ideas by using these tools also once you scroll down you will see some of the best performing blog posts which rank for this keyword dropshipping basically by using these tools you can do a very simple keyword research so you would know how popular these keywords are and how competitive they are